Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Shet, episode 487, featuring a long overdue look at this game, uh, <laughs> Morrowind. I don't have the box, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, but somehow I still have my manual maps and the, uh, the disc. Uh, anyway, if you're like me, you bought this back in 2002, loved it, couldn't get enough of it. Uh, you went on and played Oblivion and Skyrim, but maybe you've uh, wondered, you know, is it uh, what about Morrowind? Is it worth going back and playing that older game again? Have there been mods, updates, upgrades, uh, you know, since 2002 that might make it worth a, a trip back to Morrowind? Or uh, maybe you had you never played it or um, never played any of the Elder Scrolls games. You're just looking for something fun to play, something you can really dive into and spend hundreds and hundreds of hours. Morrowind, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I write about this uh, game and its role in history and so on and so forth in Dungeons and Desktops, my book. But how well does the game stand up? Is it actually still fun to play? Or is how much of that is just nostalgia? Well, we'll get into that in this video. Short answer is, I think absolutely yes. Awesome, awesome game. There's a reason this is <laughs> still a classic and so many people still play it. Uh, but anyway, we've got a lot to cover here. So without further ado, here is Morrowind. All right, folks, so let's dive into this game, The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. That's a little bit of context to get us started here. What was going on when this game came out? Originally debuted in 2002. Now, so what else was going on at the time? Well, you uh, might, might have gone to the electronics boutique or Walmart or wherever you got your games from, <laughs> GameStop. And uh, you would have seen this, Dungeon Siege. Uh, came out about a month earlier. You know, Chris Taylor's uh, gas-powered games, and I thought this was a fabulous game. I got this when it came out. Lots of fun. Probably more in common with uh, games like Diablo. It's kind of more of a Diablo-like uh, than anything like uh, Elder Scrolls, but still, you know, something with the at the time, you know, good graphics, good action. <laughs> you know, it did reasonably well. Uh, or you could have waited a month and got this Neverwinter Nights game that you kept hearing about, reading about. Uh, Bioware's big project, you know, taking this, uh, you know, they had, of course, great success with Baldur's Gate and Ice, Icewind Dale. That was uh, outsourced. But anyway, the, the Baldur's Gate series. Uh, so wanting to do something in this, uh, using the D&D &D rules, uh, but in a 3D, fully 3D interface, 3D environment, uh, you know, this game, it's got its problems, but I would say still it's held up very well, uh, especially once you get into the, the other modules and campaigns you can get for it. But anyway, that wasn't out yet. <laughs> uh, now, what was out it was uh, Might and Magic 9. Came out in, 2000, come out in March, so I guess about a, uh, what, about a month before. Uh, total of this disaster. You know, kind of a lamentable way for that series to end. So I guess it kind of worked out pretty well for Bethesda because they kind of had this nice little window where there wasn't anything really going to uh, compete with them. And, and it was a good, they had such a good product that was rolling out, which just kind of sweep away <laughs> a lot of the uh, gamer dollars there for a while. And of course, uh, Elder Scrolls 3 has just remained a huge game. A lot of the Elder Scrolls aficionados, the connoisseurs, if you will, I still say this is the best one. You know, I'm not going to say just me personally. It's my favorite. This my the first Elder Scrolls game I played. Uh, I got it back probably right right about when it came out. Just got really into it. It's one of those games you'd, you'd play. You'd wake up in the morning, start playing it. <laughs> it's late at night. <laughs> you're finally just going to bed because you're physically exhausted. You know. It's really one of those games, well worth the, the 15 bucks. But the cool thing is, it's actually retained a large and very active fan base. And those guys have modded the heck out of this thing to the point where you can make it look like it just came out last year or even this year. <laughs> By the time you really uh, go crazy with the mods and patches and 
It's all sorts of things, upscale and enhanced, and you know, improve the interface in myriad ways. Now, these are some recommended by Punny over on the fabulous Matt Chat Discord, which I hope you're over there. Because if you're not, what, what do you not like me? You don't want to chat with? Come on, come to the Discord. Come to the Discord. We talk about iHeart Vanilla, uh, not Vanilla Ice. Now these these are mods that uh, em enhance the game, improve the game, fix bugs and things like that, but don't alter the gameplay experience in any. Uh, I guess in any way, really. So it's more about fixing bugs, updating things, but not messing with the gameplay rules or adding content that wasn't there originally, that sort of thing. Uh, so there's a good 19, and there's even a mod manager you can get to help you with this and make everything seamless. So I didn't download every single one of these. <laughs> uh, I did grab the, the first, let's see, first eight or so, I think. So I grabbed these uh, top eight. This is a place to start. But, again, these are optional. You could just, you know, buy this as is off GOG or Steam and then be good to go. Uh, now, one other thing before we get started. I mentioned that it came out in 2002. Well, that was a good lag of time, a good gap between the Elder Scrolls 2, which you see there comes out in 96. Uh, so what was in between these games? Well, they did a couple of uh, Elder Scrolls Adventures and the one that I, there's another one called Battle Spire, but who cares about that? I, I think this one's interesting, Red Guard, because it's not, maybe not a great game. I haven't really spent any time with it, but I just think it's neat that it, came, it comes out in 98, so a couple years later. And if you look at some of these screenshots, you can see that they've got the, in this game, they've already got this third person view where you can see your character. Now, this is, this is one of the big innovations in, uh, in the game we're talking about today, Morrowind, that you can actually switch between first person and third person. So, so sometimes you want to see your character, sometimes you don't. <laughs> you kind of want to immerse yourself in the world, but sometimes maybe you're jumping or whatever, you want to dodge some attacks, uh, so you go to the third person so you can see the character. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and I think that's one of the really smart things about this game is it lets you switch. Now, another big thing, and this is talked about here in the manual, Todd Howard in various interviews, the lead designer of this game. And of course, this is covered in this great book. <laughs> oh, my God, don't you want this? <laughs> I've already got my copy, Matt. Who do you think I am, a pose? No, I do not, sir. Oh, madam. I know you have your own copy, but if you, uh, you know, want to read more, <laughs> it's on page 343. Uh, but anyway, I just bring it up because... Uh, Yes, a book I wrote. Uh, but Todd Howard, I got some quotes in here, uh, quotes in there from him where he talks about how he was kind of disappointed by Daggerfall. How, uh, I don't know if disappointed is the right word there, but he, he was kind of saying, look, the procedural generated stuff in that game, it results in some kind of wacky stuff. You know, it's, I think he just calls it garbage at one point. It's kind of harsh, frankly. I mean, I, but then again, he's like, uh, <laughs> you read another interview, and he's like, oh, yes, Daggerfall is this highly innovative, great game. Uh, and this this interview over here, oh, it was garbage. Okay, it's Todd Howard. Uh, you know, he's allowed to change his mind. <laughs> but anyway, when he was put on this project, he, what he wanted to do was uh, make it a lot more, uh, have a lot more authorial intention, I think is a fancy word for it. I just call it more handcrafted stuff, so... Not, you know, coming away from all those procedurally generated stuff uh, and putting in more content actually written by people <laughs> with a plan. Uh, but at the same time, you know, he's in this, he's in here saying, oh, no, 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 you just play it however you want, do whatever you want. Uh, there's no, don't play the way the man wants you to play, you know, all this kind of thing. Just totally open. So he's kind of trying to thread a needle, I guess, in between, yeah. You know, this is not linear by any means, but, um, you know, at the same time, not being just so procedurally, so sort of computer made <laughs> uh, that you end up, you know, with a talker to a lady downstairs uh, looking all sexy by a pipe organ when there's a saber-toothed tiger running around upstairs, okay? 
So did he thread that needle successfully? Uh, we will see. Anyway, I think we've uh, jabbered enough. <laughs> so go ahead and get the game if you haven't already, and let's dive on in. All right, let's get going here. Where are you, Elder Scrolls Three? Get on my screen, Elder Scrolls Three. Bethesda. Access the Steam community while I'm playing. Well, we didn't think there would be anything like Steam community back in 2002, huh? I think this is the first Xbox. The first time you could play this on an Xbox. So maybe like the first uh, Western... Or one of the first... I guess there's got to be some previous ones. but Maybe one of the first Elder Scrolls games a lot of the console people played. Those console kids. <laughs> Let's see, new load options, okay. New. Yeah, this is isn't this like tickling the old nostalgia bone? Each event is preceded by prophet. Oh, that was didn't get to read that. In the waning years of third of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under under guard without explanation to Morrowind. Ignore the role is playing that nation's history. Taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. This looks pretty badass. Wake up today. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. <laughs> you were dreaming. What's your name? Hey, what is my name? In the old... Matt. Oh, let's make him a little fancier. Matthias. <laughs> well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. W and S move forward and back. A and D move side to side, and the mouse looks around. I don't see a mouse anywhere. <laughs> you better do what they say. I don't want to do what they say. I won't play the way the man wants me to play. I want to do something with crate. Oh. Okay, I guess I got it. <laughs> Damn you, Howard. Do what they say. All right, I'll do what they say. Do I see a chest? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We're in a boat. I hear the boat. You know, you think the boat would be moving around, but okay. <laughs> Hammocks. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Alrighty. On deck now, prisoner. What is this? Look up at the hatch and press the space bar to open it. Space bar activates objects and people you are looking at. Oh, that space bar. The sooner you leave, the sooner we can move on. I want to eat something. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, hatch. Oh, look at this. It's just... <laughs> oh, man, it's just like going back home or something. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the sensor. Goosebumps. Oh, man, this is... It's bringing back so many memories. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. You know, I think this is a pretty good way to do this, you know, leveling character creation process. So, uh, you know me, I usually just uh, like to get this all done at the start. And I can talk about it. I could spend three hours creating a character. That's fine. <laughs> but I kind of like the way here. 
you know, you wake up, okay, they get your name. Now, I guess we're sort of step by step creating a character, but it's kind of being rolled out along with the game, so it's kind of giving you a little reason to be excited. <laughs> hey, no, look, you can move around a ship. You can use WASD to move around. Everything's 3D. <laughs> oh, uh, now that we got you hooked, ah, we can bring you into the character creation process. They want to show off the goods a little bit, a little tease, before they hit you with this. Oh, so let's see. Walk new. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I want to do what you want to make. This guy kind of looks like Friar Tuck. I've been watching that Robin of Surehood. Surehood? Sure. Robin of Sherwood show. That is an awesome, underrated show. Not enough people have seen. So put that on your queue. It's on Amazon. Shout TV, a channel, I think. It's fantastic. Okay, what do we want to play? Okay, I guess we could actually look here. So they have uh, each of these races has different specials and skill bonuses. So if you want to really min-max, you can do that. You could say, well, I want a guy that's really good with axes. So here you go. It's already a skill bonus. If you pick a, uh, a Nord or the Orc looks like also has some axe bonuses. The Wood Elf. Acrobatics, alchemy, light armor. So this is kind of giving you some ideas about you know, how you might want to put things together. But again, part of what Howard says in here is, look, you do whatever you damn well want to. If you want a mage with armor, <laughs> heavy armor, throwing fireballs, hey, you go, you do it. <laughs> You're just going to step back and let you make a crappy character. So anyway, I like that. I like that flexibility. That's why people keep coming back, because there's so many different, you know, ways you might play this. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this Nord. I kind of got this idea of, uh, I kind of want to go, uh, maybe not quite a barbarian, but somebody who's a really good fighter. Let's see, this guy, so we'll do axes, maybe medium armor, okay. Let's see, oh, we can turn him around. Oh. Change sex. <laughs> sex. <laughs> Too soon. Alright, change face. Oh, wait, did I? It's kind of hard to press these buttons exactly. Oh, nice. It's kind of weird working on the decapitated head. Change how? Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm Batman. Ooh. Ooh. You know, it'd be fun to go to a hairstylist sometime and be like, make me look like. This <laughs> bring like a screenshot. <laughs> Hairstyles be like, oh. Okay, immune to frost, resist shock, wound, shield thirty points for sixty seconds on self. Is that an ability? I suppose. Thunder fist, frost damage twenty five percent on touch. Okay, let's just go with this. Great, I'm oh, sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Why am I towering over this guy? Now how do I switch to the third person view? Is there a button I have to press? Maybe I have to wait a little bit later. Huh. Man, I can just look at this all day. <laughs> ah, just... Mm. I always like how you can just sort of vaguely see stuff off in the distance, makes you want to go check it out. You know, Bethesda's so good at that. Man, Head on in. so good at that. They really know how to make good game worlds. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. 
Oh yeah, here we go. I forgot about this. So we can do a sort of Ultima thing where you ask you a bunch of ethical questions. Uh, what else can we do? Give him the info, pick from a class list, or fill out the forms yourself to create a custom class. You know, you probably want to go with this third option, but we'll do the second one kind of uh, I don't want to spend too long. Plus, I always think it's kind of fun to see what they... Yeah, you know, I like to see what the developer and the designers come up with first before I start trying to do my own. You know, it's been long enough since I've played this, too, that I don't really remember everything. Wow, a lot of options. So this can be sort of overwhelming at first, but keep in mind you... Um, you it's, it's a very flexible system. I believe what the big difference is... <clears throat> if you want to level up, you work on your skills. I hope I have that right. And the major ones are the ones that give you the most XP. Is that how that works? Pretty sure I'm right. So that's important. Then you have these minor skills. Favorite attributes. So it all, it's a nice system to me. It makes a lot of sense. Everything works nicely together. So let's go. I'm kind of torn. I like the archers, though. <laughs> but I don't really want to go barbarian. I really have just a regular warrior. Yeah, warrior. No, uh, I guess we're going to have to go barbarian because I really want an axe. Okay, axe, medium armor. So we don't get the uh, heavy armor. Strength and speed, combat. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to feel pretty good about this. Let's go barbarian. <laughs> Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? What was your sign, baby? The lady. The world. Lover. Wouldn't it be cool if you were in a bar and you're like, what's your sign? Shadow. <laughs> Whoa, you're a moral infant? <laughs> Instant connection. Oh, I don't know. What I, I didn't anticipate this. Elfborn. Fortify maximum magica. Fortify personality. Weakness to fire. A hundred percent. What the hell? Who would want that? The lever, fortify agility, 25 points, paralyzed damage, the ritual. I get some blessed word, turn undead, 100 points for 30 seconds on target. Ooh, I like this gift, restore health, 100 points on self. I might want to go with that option. Ooh, what's the warrior? Fortify attack, 10 points. Eh. Ooh, this one lets you poison. Poison three points for 30 seconds on touch. I'm not sure, does that mean touch with your hand or with a weapon? Fortify maximum. Lava. I don't really think I'm going to need agility all that much. Let's do the... Uh... What was it, the ritual? Yeah, this one looks pretty good to me. Let's just try this. So I can turn undead on a target or a touch. But I like this uh, restore health. That looks pretty cool. Like a, sounds like a free health potion. We'll Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Name of Thias. Oh, that's yeah, a good too. Give you a little chance here just in case you messed up. You want to see everything nicely. Look! <laughs> I love stats! Ah, so many things! Yeah. Like a little kid in a cockpit. Oh, look at all these buttons and switches! Ah. Miscellaneous skills. So let's, okay. I wish it would say... Hang on.
Okay, so I read in the manual. <laughs> this is how it works. All right, so if you remember in Daggerfall, you just used a skill over and over again to level it up. Uh, here, it's got to be successful. And the reason it's broken into these major, minor, and so on is that skills that are specialized, major, or minor also increase faster than miscellaneous skills. So if we wanted to use uh, the heavy armor there, or the, you know, this is going to, we could do it. It's just going to take longer than the light armor, which is a minor skill, or the medium armor, <coughs> which is our major skill. So that's going to be... I wonder what a specialized skill is. Specialized, major, or minor. Oh, they, the manual's wrong. <laughs> should be major, minor, or miscellaneous. Uh, so that's one of the cool things about this game. You know, you can also make spells. That's another fun aspect of this. Okay, well, I think everything looks good. Okay, it. You now have a stats menu. Mm. Love my stats menu. Right-clicking allows you to use your menus. When you are done with them, right-click again to close them. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Read your papers by pressing the space bar while looking at them. And select take to pick them up. Okay, there's our papers. So this is space bar. For release by Emperor Uriel Septum Seven's decree for the district of Zondel Barbara. Okay, Agent of the Sea Take. You now have an inventory menu. Alright, so they're really going with this idea of gradually rolling out the interface in kind of a tutorial. But they made the tutorial part of the game. Like all menus, right click on your bottom. Okay, right click. There we go. Looks like this is equipped stuff. Using hand to hand combat. Just simple right click brings it up. Yay! Alright, what do you say to do? <laughs> to, get to go to the next building and talk to some Ascrabians. Go to the next building. You should learn how to do combat. You should learn how to do combat. Pick up the dagger on the table with the space bar. Be careful, you wouldn't want the dagger to fall. <laughs> okay, space bar. Equip the dagger. What's this? Ooh, oh, dad, Riska. Riska, I don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger as sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. <clears throat> See, this is the kind of story and flavor text I like. It's not intrusive. It doesn't take you out of the action. It's just a little, little bit of a story, a little bit of a vignette. Add a little flavor to this. Make it feel a little more real, a little more uh, uh, coherent. You know, I just see like a minor thing, a little note like this, but it just kind of adds to the experience. Okay, we can... I think we can drag it on, what do you say? Okay, that's not working. Oh, there we go. You gotta click it. Press F to pull out your weapon. Once your weapon is ready, hold and release the left mouse button to swing it. The harder you swing it, the more damage it does, but the more for the more fatigue you will drain. So a little less complicated, I guess, than all this vertical, diagonal, slicing, stabbing. Okay. Go away, go away. Why are you not going away? <laughs> there. Oh, we just hold it down forever. I didn't drag take away. I think the green bar down there is my fatigue. Yeah, so it's just always the same maneuver. It's not like you just do that to chop, slice. Maybe they... <laughs> yeah. Now the question is, do you take everything in sight? We just follow the. Oh, was I supposed to come here? 
You now have a map menu. It shows you the name of the place you are and the direction you're facing. Just getting all kinds of menus. Oh, we can even move them around. They don't all fit. <laughs> this little resolution's pretty low. Of course, you can adjust that. Get a little more screen estate. I don't have a journal yet, do I? What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, the next building, he said. Click the barrel to your left and get the ring inside. What if I don't want to? Oh, I just... Engraved ring of healing. Restore health. Uh, piece of paper. You now have a magic menu where you can see all your powers, spells, and magic items. Oh boy, another menu. Press R to ready your active magic, then click to cast. That's gold. Alright, magic menu. Do I have this equipped? Oh! No! Oh. Equip! Where? Okay, he said it had a magic menu. Okay. Where's that? Where's this magic menu at here? Powers. Ferris Gift, Thunderfist, Woad. Charge of 20. Okay, so I think I do it like that. Let's not waste a charge on it, just experiment. So Mara's Gift Thunder... F Whoa, this is a shield. Let's try this out. So, so hit R to ready it. All right, I think that yeah gave us a little shield. Okay, and then you hit R again to... All right, so it's F for spells. No, it's F for your <laughs> weapon <laughs> and R to ready spells. Okay. Easy enough. Press space bar to talk to the captain. Select topics to ask about them. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. So I'm getting a little bit more into the gameplay mechanics. Your papers, here. please. First, let me take your identification papers. See, this is fine. Yeah, you know, I like this. You don't need to have every line voice acted and constantly be taking you out of the game to watch a cutscene with stuff like this. Just a simple menu like this is fine. I can read. <laughs> Release identification has been removed from your inventory. Ask him about background. Ask him about aura win. You click on these blue ones to get a little more. Context, get some more topics. Wow, really opening up a lot. <laughs> so he's got quite a few things to say. Should probably actually be reading this. So yes, you're in Morrowin. I don't know why you're here and why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from the Emperor. When you leave this office, you are free. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. It's duties. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius... Caius... Casagis in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Cassius, Caius, whatever the guy's name is. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would the Emperor himself. Also have a letter for you and a dispersal and a, and a dispersal to your name. Report to Cas Casades in Balmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you are to go to the South Wall Corner Club. Balmora is north of Saida Neen. The road passes the village and fort crosses the deep ravines. Okay. Then. <laughs> Take my advice. You're new here. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east. Can't miss it. Can ask him about Silt Striders. I don't think the do the other games have Silt Striders, or is it just this one? Okay, I 
think we've about got all the tips we can from him. And now we have a journal. <clears throat> so you see, there are definitely quests here. If you want to, you could just do this first. You know, stick to this this line. Or you could just do whatever the heck you want. Okay, let's see if we can find these silk destroyers. I think we need to go this way. What's this about? Press J to use your journal, review what you've been told. You should probably check out Aurelux, Aurelels, Aurel's trade house up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. Yeah, see, then they just get out of your way. You go, dude. You go have fun now. <laughs> what is this? Four goth. Hurry this up, will you? Are you the one the boat dropped off? I have to see a boat arrive at that time of the day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargath ritual. An engraved healing ring. You haven't seen it, have you? Uh-oh. Ethical dilemma. We've got the ring. It looks like a pretty good ring, but do we want to give it to him? Let's just do the right thing. Ugh. <clears throat> you found it. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Aurel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. So we lost the ring, but hopefully we got a few... Maybe a discount of the trade house. My trade ring services. That's just a way to get some more advice. Latest rumors. A little secret. If you're thinking of traveling up country near... Shkogorod or at Molag Emmerway. You need to know about Corpus. It's a disease that runs, turns normal creatures into beasts. You get Corpus from fighting with diseased creatures. There's no cure. Okay, probably don't want that. Alright, there's been some trouble up at Fort Frostmouth. Moth. Ever heard of it? It's on an island. All right, so you get the idea. We're quickly filling up our journal. We've got all sorts of stuff in here. Now we can do... You know what we should probably do is save the game. <laughs> yes. Starting at... Yeah, but I remember the first time I played this. It's still very vivid. You know, I got to about this point. It just kind of started to dawn on me. Like, wow, there is a lot of stuff to do. Wow! No secrets. If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law. There's quotes. Watch this above. We can find. Let's see if we can get to the soul strider. What was it in for map? Or go away. What was the key for the map? Map. And then our map here records the places. Now, can we make our own points? Hmm. Oh, it's already pointed. So it's, it's automatically populating this map. Can I make my own little points on it? I don't know. There's probably a mod that let you do that. How much you want to bet? Let's hear. It. My time is precious, so make it quick. This does kind of remind me of Might Magic Six, but of course those characters are just the you know they had the billboard graphics. You couldn't actually see them in 3D. So you could go around, talk to everybody, get all the stuff. Just go ahead and go to that trade house. Ooh, My time is <gasps> precious, so make it quick. Got some mushrooms. <laughs> this is how they get you.
Let's see. I want to go to a shack. Where is the trade? And some of these, you have to pick the lock, and that guard would probably uh, not like that too much. In the fire's house. Where is the trade house? Mid size office. Wait, there's a sign. There we go. Oh, wait, I don't want to. I don't want to pick the lock. I just want to go in. It is one thing I remember it would get you sometimes if you're not My careful where you're quick. So make it get in a hurry, you can accidentally steal something and make it mad at you. You want to buy from me, you have to barter. If you want a little advice, free to new customers, just ask. A little advice. If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. <laughs> Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder, and we don't like it. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Ho oh, ho! Tell me there's a rat around here. Okay, let's see. Bart. Wait a minute. Does he know the, about that ring? Should we try persuasion? What's that going to do if we're no good at it, though? Well, let's just... Actually, let me check the... Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I need an axe. Iron battle axe, yes. I'll sell the dagger. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Uh, armor. Oh, okay. So I guess this is how we barter. We can try to lower the cost. It's a medium armor. Now this game, there's lots of armor. I think there's like pauldrons. So we got the... Oh, I don't want heavy. Got the queer ass for your chest. Oh, we're going to run out of gold here really quick. Probably want to get a chest piece. So this is Nordic Ringmail queer ass armor reading 15. So that one's a little bit better. It's also more expensive. Let's just get the middle of the road. Okay, there's an axe and a chest piece. Oh, we don't have enough gold even for this. Doggone it. Okay, well. Let's just at least get the axe. Maybe we need to... Feel free. Talk at your leisure. <clears throat> Hello, Matthias. I suppose you're wondering what's on. I can tell you where the services are. Uh, silver staff. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, if you hit Q, it just starts going forward automatically. There must be a quick save button here. I'll look, look what that is in a minute. Okay, let's just see what happens. I'll start trying to steal. <laughs> oh, there's a guard up here. Don't stand about. You look like you could use a friend. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. That's right, see? I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes, see? <laughs> just a bit of money. I know some of them are holding out. Please come up light the fast. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. Another little fetcher's got someone in somewhere in town. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Ah, sure. This guy sounds trustworthy. Raffled the beggar. Don't Braggart. stand about. Slight difference between braggart and beggar. Is there some specific place you're looking for? 
Need a shimmer, slam this on device. Treat house notice. Whereas the general sessions of the peace held for the district. Oh, I don't want to read that. <laughs> Sorry, whoever wrote that. What was that? Um, so, Matthias, you're new. I'd like some help finding where you're around. No. No. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Go ahead, you're not interrupting anything. I'm alone. Scout, need directions? Yes, Palomora. Okay, she gave me something. Yes. Package. Oh. Oh, it's encoded. Ah, neat. So you could spend some time figuring that out if you wanted to. Need the village. There's our directions. Okay, I'm just making fabulous progress here. It's like an old glove. Someone watching me. I can tell. Muscle memory is starting to come back. So we do need some gold. I feel like I should get some armor before we leave the safety of the town. We could see if we can find that guy's uh, hidden stash. I'm going to pause it here, take a little break. Look for stash. And be right back. Okay, back. <laughs> and my mug has magically changed color. That Switch from coffee to tea. Also up the resolution here a little bit so I can actually see things better. Uh oh, for some reason I can see my dude now. <laughs> what did I didn't mean to do that? Uh oh. Okay, so it's tab. So if you hit tab, you can see your dude. My time is precious, so make it quick. I wonder if there's a way to see the front of him. Yeah, if you hold the tab down, okay. Yeah. You spin me right around, baby, right around. Oh, okay, enough of that. <laughs> Not as easy as hitting tab. Head stranger. Oh, man. I just love the music for this game so much. I keep wanting to crank it up, but then I can't <laughs> hear my own thoughts. <laughs> okay, um, what are we doing? I will work for him, he will share the bounty. I'm supposed to keep an eye on him from atop the lighthouse in town and watch where he goes. I should watch him at night. Okay, so that's a stealth mission. Probably just don't even want to bother with that. Maybe we should just find the Silt Strider thing and go to the next town. I would like to find a little more money, get some armor, but. You know, I guess I could collect mushrooms. I wonder how much these are worth. I don't even remember how to make stuff. Must be a menu item here. Let's see. Whoa. Magic items. Uh, where's the... How do you cook and make potions? So many windows. Look at the controls if I doubt. Menu mode, journal. Yeah. The journal? Options. Whoa. <laughs> Intense. Whoa. Okay, how did I get to this okay. magic items? You know, maybe it's one of those things. I just I can't I have to look it up in the manual. Can't believe I don't remember. Okay, I see. So if you hit the little button there. 
Interesting. So if you hit that button, then it holds it there. Okay, gotcha. Is there like a potion screen interface, or do you have to find like a camp site? Ooh, Daggletail. I don't actually see that in my... Did I get this already, maybe? Oh, there's one. Don't know what it is, but I'm picking it up. <laughs> Whoa. What are those things? Of course, my first thought is, can I collect? Can I put that in my inventory? <laughs> can I fish? Can I catch fish? Still don't see the silt strider. I don't want to break into anything. Is there some specific place you're looking for? Not much here. Silt strider service. Where's the silt strider? I think I was just looking at it. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, first Witcher game. Or is it Gothic? Looks kind of like this. Now that's another one. I don't remember when that one came out. Must have been around the same time, I would guess. Uh, Gothic, that is. Is that... What is that? Oh, is that... Is that a monster? Okay, let's go ahead and ready our... You've already used that power today. I can only use that once per day. Oh, that's crap. I don't know what this guy is, but he's going down. Maybe I'm going down. <laughs> Mud crab. Oh, dispose of corpse. Okay, well, I killed something. Some kind of crap. Okay, I know you guys don't want to watch me walking around picking up mushrooms and things for two hours. Because that is the kind of guy I am. I just cannot <laughs> control myself. Oh, just can't. I like those, you know, they talk about vampires. You throw a bunch of matches or something, that sit there and count them all. I'm like that with games. I mean, give me a bunch of mushrooms and I gotta sit there and like collect each one before I can move. Even if something's attacking me, I still gotta collect all the mushrooms. To whip. Let's grab that. Booker's Bane. Alright, seriously, I hear. Yes, I do think he meant well. The Silt Strider. Go ahead, stranger. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Yeah, I just have fun when I'm playing this, just exploring everything. I don't even really necessarily want to rush to do the quest. I kind of just want to walk around and see things. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to take a quick break and look at this manual here. And see how to do the potions. Will ever let go of my mouse? Okay, so it seems that I have to find characters to make. I have to find an alchemist NPC to make potions for me. But somehow it still uses my my skill. But it did say I could just eat. Let's we'll see. Yeah, okay, it's starting to come back to me. So let's see. Click on it once. It has no effect at all. Maybe that's because my alchemy skill's so low, I don't even have a. Yeah. What did that do? So maybe my skill is just so low, I can't even. 
that what it's doing to me? Maybe I should stop eating mushrooms. <laughs> I'm gonna get a look at my. Uh... Yeah, I don't. Maybe you have to have like a basic. What's this? It's five. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Shouldn't they? Just... No effect on me. No effect on me. No, I don't know what's going on with that. That doesn't seem right, though. Ooh, what's this? Cabin door. Uh-oh. I have you! Oh, God. oh he's back up. <laughs> uh, he's not getting up from that. All right, got some stuff from him. Oh, I want a bucket. Ooh, neat. Okay, yeah, now I'm trying to remember how do I get my health back up. That looks kind of suspicious, doesn't it? Like there should be something underneath it. Yeah, that's one thing I really loved about this game is just sometimes you find these little hidden nooks and crannies where sometimes you get stuck to. And there's a stalactite. All right, what do I get? Slave key, paper, a bucket, some gold, uh, common pants. I don't think I leather boots. Yeah, they have a little bit of run on them, so there's an improvement. Common pants, a chitin. Chitin or chitin? I can never remember. Okay, so a few little odds and ends. Okay, let's continue our... What is the stealth? There's like a way to permanently stealth, right? Somebody told me on the Discord chat, though, that there wasn't any point in stealthing in this game. It doesn't work very well. I don't remember it well enough to have an opinion on it. You know, what is this? I'm starting to get a little turned around. This looks like it's just got to be a secret area. See something over there. Oh, <gasps> is it? <laughs> it is! Oh, there we go! Oh, let's go! Ah! Ah, come back alive so I can kill you again! Oh, Lord God! Oh, these are the moments we treasure. Mm. Thank you, Horrorwind. Yes. It's a little dark, but... Uh, oh, we even get to keep a piece of rat meat! <laughs> oh, should reload and re-experience that a few times. That's a good-looking rat, too! Oh, okay, my opinion of this game just went up. I want to eat the rat. Can you cook? Is there cooking? Everything just has no effect on me. What is going on? Ooh. Netch leather left pauldron. So you actually have a different pauldron for your left and your right. Here we go. I always think whenever I pick up armor off a of corpse, you're like, Well, it couldn't have been that good of armor. That guy died. Okay, but. Let's go ahead. You know, I wish I had a paper doll here. It doesn't. 
I need to see the slots, you know what I mean? Okay, well we got one. <laughs> I guess that's better than none. Do I have a torch? I feel like I need a torch. I got a bellows. What do I need a bellows for? Do you do anything with bellows? Oh, come on. How do you... A way to get like an info screen? Return. Oh, I'm killing rats. <laughs> See, I don't care about the main quest at all at this point. Uh-uh. rats in here. Ooh, water. Can I swim? Ultima Underworld. Now, if I was hiding treasure. Some kind of potion. Uh oh, how do I how do I get back to the top? Okay. <laughs> Man, I really need some kind of dark vision or something. Maybe that's all there is in there. Some stupid potion and a skull. Hmm. Let's just get out of here. If we can. Yeah, we're going to walk on the path. I'll never forget when I played this the first time. I was in a cave like this, and I was using some flying spells, just being silly. I got up into this really tiny little nook. Way up in the ceiling, it was really hard to get to, and there was like this glowing sword. It was awesome. There's very few games that are that good. When it comes to like hiding little areas, really make you want to explore every little piece. That's one thing I think uh, Todd's right about, Todd Howard. You know, everything procedural just doesn't doesn't give you that kind of experience, right? You, you want to feel like, oh, somebody put that there. Okay, I think I've explored this little cave. I will say, though, that I tend to get turned around pretty easily in these things. I can't tell what I've... Kind of like a real cave, you know? It's you ever been in a caving for real? You know, you'd be amazed how easy it is to get lost. It's not at all... Okay, that's where I came from. You probably wouldn't be as befuddled as me, but... Oh, there's a torch. Thank you. All right, how do I get this torch? Good. There we go. Oh, that's better. But now, how about my... Oh, that ain't gonna work. Surely I can have a... I can have a torch and an axe? that? There's somebody there. Ooh, Bardago. Do you have the key to these bracers? Will you let me go free? You have the key, yes. Yes, yes Bardago is free! You are a good friend of Bardago. Yes, I am. Oh, oh call, yes! Go free, my lovely old call. What the? What? What the who? What? Oh! Who is that? Butthead. Huh. Oh, you get mad I was freeing all his slaves? What a joik. Well, we can't have that. Ah. Uh. First death. Was he hiding? Where did he come from? Why didn't those slaves help me? 
Okay, let's try it again. Make sure to save it this time. Get the torch. So I guess maybe this axe, since it's a two-handed weapon, is that why I can't have a torch and a thing? I thought there was like alternate... Oh, something's attacking. Oh, there he is. That's what that was. Oh, he's almost coming. Oh. Alright, I ain't having this. Now, where is that guy? Jeez Louise. What a little punk. This is my latest save? Oh. Maybe it's not loading the quick save. Okay, where is this guy hiding? I'm kind of low on health already. I know you're here somewhere. Let's see him. Where the heck is this guy? here. <laughs> Trying to creep around. Where is he? Not in here. Is he coming from down here? Yeah, there he is. Okay, we'll get him this time. Health he has. Oh, geez, this is tough. I might have to come back later when I got some more energy, some more levels or something. I... Yeah, I can tell I'm missing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how much health he has. This might just be too high a level. Let me try it one more time. Let's see if there's anything I can do to give myself a little bit of an edge here. Probably doesn't help that I'm going into this already damaged. Okay. Don't think there's any way I can heal myself. Let's try this woad again. Ah, oh, quit! I already used that power today, okay. Can't turn on dead's not gonna be helpful. Got Nero's gift. Try to use this. Alright, that healed me up. Thunderfist, frost damage. Keep that handy, maybe. Okay, well. Come to me. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought it would at least tell me how much health this guy has. I'm gonna have to research how to dodge now. That is a thing, right? Dodging? Can't take him. Damn it. Ah. Can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Yeah, each time he hits me with that thing, it just about kills me. It's gonna let me. I don't have any healing potions or anything. 
<gasps> All right, enough. <laughs> Can't do it. Too weak. All right, forget it. Let's just go. Now, can I rescue these guys at least? Does he follow me? You do not please us. Oh, please you. Yeah. Not sure you not famous, Is that slave gonna fight him? Oh, he's stuck behind the door, is he? Might be able to defeat him if he's stuck behind the door. <laughs> Kinda lame, but you know. I'd hit this son of a gun. <laughs> Pulled out his knife. Come on! He's gotta be close to dying. Got him! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Stuck on a door! Ha <laughs> ha! Man, you're exploiting the game. I don't care. You had it coming. Let's see, armor rating two. Is this better? Is that the same as what I got? Yeah, same as what I got. Common pants, common robe, common shirt. Let's see, a couple of daggers. A better treasure than that. Now, how do I know when I've leveled up? I heard something. Where's my experience points? Uh, level one. Oh, none? No progress. Okay. What is it? Slave's right bracer. Is that something I want? The prey approaches. Okay, I didn't want to what let, is it? Let them best? all free. I'll get some I'm free. So clumsy, all my fault. Oh. Go free. You freed me. Oh, I guess that's all I can do. I thought I'd get a little, you know, experience points or something, but okay. Oh, here's another one. You will suffer greatly! Yeah. Alright. No more daggers. I have to keep an eye on my inventory. I know there's a weight limit or something, right? Is that what that is? 103. Uh, getting a little pants collection going here. I guess I can open up a designer shop. Prentice lockpick, slave key, a probe. Okay. Still nothing I can really use, though. Oh, wait. There's a left bracer. Right Doesn't mean armor one. Is that my combined armor class? Just the one? No, oh, so I really need to get some better armor. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and find some. Ha <laughs> ha! That's heavy, though. Let's see what else we got here. Potion, a... Sajama, Saltrice, Scroll, and the Soul Gem. Oh, the Soul Gems! I remember that. Need that for enchanting, I think. Alright, how do we do these scrolls? What's the deal? i equip it. Okay, that's helpful. Yep. Uh, 
What do I... <laughs> so clueless. <laughs> what do I do with the scrolls? Oh, it's here. Soul trap. Oh, okay. So you kind of... It's like a magic spell. You just do it here. Okay. A little bit weird, but I think I can handle it. Alright, there's more chests. Ooh. What's that? Steel staff. Yeah, all these different metals, right? The steel and then the iron, I think. So my two-handed axe here. 1 to 32 points of damage. Chop, slash, and thrust. Versus this... Where's that staff? Steel staff, two-handed. So it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Yeah, I'm way better off with the, with the axe. So anyway, let me pause the game here. Alright, I'm glad I took a moment to look at that manual, because I am... I missed something important. Okay, so there are different kinds of attacks with melee weapons. So if you, it, instead of being the mouse moving, though, it's you moving yourself. So it's, uh, if you move forward and attack, all right, that does that. Let's see, that's uh, a thrust. Okay, no, move forward and then attack. Okay, that's the thrust. Side to side is supposed to be a slash. And then moving back. That's also a thrust. Diagonal. Side to side. Wait, chop. Standing steel. Okay. So if I stand still, that's the chop. We're moving diagonally. It's not even sure what that means to move diagonally. That. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's weird. Okay. And then these weapons have... Like the chop is the best thing to use for that. But if I had this dagger, see the thrust is the best option. Now they said there's also an option in preferences. Let's see if I can find that. Where is the preferences? There's the shark. Where is Where do you get the preferences? Must be escape. There we go. Options. Preferences. Always auto save for the rest. Always use best attack. So you could activate that, and that'll just always use obviously the whatever's best for your weapon. So that would save you the trouble of having to move around and if you're not quite so coordinated. I think I'll turn the subtitles on too while I'm at it. I think I'll just uh, always use best tag. A little bit lazy, but hey. Let's go back to our picking. Crates. Moon sugar. Moon sugar. A bowl. It's always a trade-off in expensive shirt. I'll take the, <laughs> the expensive shirts. Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know, I don't know. You know, I might have to pause it yet again just to see why it's not giving me any info when I eat stuff. My understanding was if you try it. Hello. Oh, my pillow. Hello, I'm Michael and Bill. Bottle. Cup. Barrel. What is this on top? Ha! Torch. Might as well try. Okay, I think that's... You know that bowl is worth eight gold. I'll take that too. I think I got everything. 
that I can get from here. Or did I? I better save it again just in case this is a trap. Add a Masardis slave key used to open lock. But you see, like, this whole little adventure I'm having, this wasn't part of a quest or anything. I just saw this little cave. Now I'm exploring. I'm having an excellent time. You know, and I feel like this is me making the decisions to come here. Right? I don't feel like Todd Howard or some writer forced me to do this. You kind of get always had that feeling like, oh, I'm just kind of, am I supposed to be here? It's like urban exploration. This is big too. It's not just some little tiny cave. I mean, not big enough to get lost in. That's hard. I feel like I'm gonna drown just trying to get up this silly little ramp. There we go. You know, this is a spot here, yeah. Switching to third person is probably the best bet. We are finicky. Why can't I jump? Okay. So have we explored this whole cave? Oh, man. I never liked those underwater holding your breath scenarios. Very scary. I think we have explored the whole thing. We did it in kind of a backwards way. <laughs> but that's okay. We're kind of a backwards guy. Alright, though. I think we did pretty good. We could probably sell... Oh, there's some more crits. There's another battle axe. Probably doesn't hurt to have a couple of those. Our embracers. Some more scrolls. Where's those bracers at? What do I have? I've got a light armor. Probably the heavy ones. Uh. Need to make this bigger. Cause I'm, I need medium armor, I think, as, as a barbarian is my best bet. Reasonably sure I explored the whole cave. I'll never be quite certain. Ooh, it's night time. Ah, oh, looks neat, doesn't it? Yeah, so we didn't get that far out of town. I wonder how long it takes those things to respawn. I should kill that. I could kill that. What? I could kill that guar. These boots are already ruined. What? Oh, is that some. Oh, that must be some dialogue over here. You have something to say to me? I don't remember if people go to sleep in this game. Let's I think so they do. Let's hear it. I should probably find a tavern or an inn. Mm, it's like it's My time is precious, Please. so make it. Quick. Feel free. Talk at your leisure. Okay, what's well, up? Uh... 
You'll have to get rid of that bone sugar if you want any services for me. What is that? Moon sugar bad? Is it a drug? Is it a narcotic? Where is it? I'd like to get rid of it, but I can't find it in my inventory. I don't know how you noticed it. No effect on me. Damn it. What does it say here about potions? Uh, books, containers. Services alchemy. Simplest use of your alchemy skills to eat ingredients in order to experience the benefits. To eat an ingredient equipment in your inventory. If your alchemy skill is high enough, when you eat an ingredient, you may be affected by the first effect. Okay, so I guess if my alchemy score is too low, it must be what's happening. Right, so These Dunmer are useless. Uh, where is it? Moon sugar. Let's just drop it. I'll get rid of it by depositing on the floor. Maybe it's permanently deleted. What? Skooma? Good lord, I don't even know I got this! Skooma. There's probably somebody here I could sell this to. Skooma, okay. Now will you barter with me? There. Okay, yeah, turn all these. Daggers, throwing star. I think I'll keep this axe just to have an extra. Bracelet, boots, pants, clothes, shirts, expensive shirts, common shoes. Uh, anything else here? I always feel kind of funny about selling mats and keys and things. Sell the bucket, the bowl, probably, the bellows. I don't know why I'm carrying around bellows. Okay, that gives me. Let's go ahead and do that trade. Okay, I got 170 gold now. Let's get a chest piece. Imperial chain cuirass. gonna help you know I should probably change these I think don't you get a bonus if you have the same like everything is medium left pauldron <laughs> so I got a left pauldron but no right pauldron let's, let's just see if I you know the trouble is it's not let me s oh I guess it does okay so let's see those are light boots These are lights, those are heavy. Heavy, where's the medium stuff? Hmm. Heavy, pauldron heavy. There's a, okay, got that. Shield, heavy, heavy, heavy. Light, 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 light. Gotta be an easier way to do this. There's a quaff, okay, take like that. And that might be everything. Yeah, let's just get this. I don't want to just throw money away. I should look pretty fashionable with that helmet on. Let's get a look. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Starting to look pretty cool. I don't recall using teleport. All right, where do we? How do we rest? Resting here is illegal. You need to find a bed. Okay, let's see. Guess I have to actually pay attention to what he's saying. Well, 
Oh, skooma. Skooma is illegal narcotic substance. Popular scrolls, little flash. Select spells to buy. Services. So in a specific place. I'm trying to find uh, an inn. <clears throat> My time is precious, so make it quick. I'm pretty sure if I start picking this stuff up, they'll using teleportation. They'll say I'm stealing. I was alone, naked. Well, maybe she's. You like to dance. Maybe she has. To I'm a decent gal, yeah. so if you yeah. could hurry this up. Uh, training. I don't offer services to the public. Okay. How do I get to bed for the night? It's weird that she doesn't do anything. If you want something, now's the time. You're to on your honor. You like to dance. Your to the fire. Well, well, maybe this isn't well, the place where I rest. Any place looks like a tavern. It's dark. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. What's this about? Let's hear it. That's the warehouse. What's this about? This is about as a place to rest. What do you want? Training? So you can pay for training. Of course, that's What's a this lot of thing? money. I think every level you get to train something so high. Is that the way it works? I think that's how they cap you from just... There we go. Beds can be used to rest in public buildings. Press T to rest when out in the wilderness. Rest. Teal Hilled. Mm, items. I just want a stupid bottle. <laughs> Muck and rat meat, okay. Now, this is the habit I get into, just picking up everything and then my inventory gets loaded. Okay. What to do now? Steal everything! What's this about? Well, it slows a lot faster these days, doesn't it? <laughs> like when I played this back in the day, it took a couple minutes every time. Alright, so I still don't know where this strider is. Let's see if we can find it this way. Office, lighthouse, and stars. It's just a square house. Where is What's this about? That's Strider. Let's go to the lighthouse. Just the urge to just look in every crate and barrel. How do I do this? Lockpick. Can I have a lockpick? Have to equip it. <coughs> All right. 
don't think that's the way you do it. <laughs> Eating. Wow, that's 300 gold for that? You've gained knowledge from this book. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, sometimes books give you skills. And you don't even have to read them. Don't you wish books worked like that in real life? Unless it's Dungeons and Desktops. That's the one exception. Alright, I'm at the top of the lighthouse. It's a torch or fire up here. Nothing else. Thought I heard somebody coughing. I could kill that Guar. Those boots are ruined. Those boots. You're looking for someone or you want to know advice? It pays to take it slow when you first come to Morrowind. That is true. When you talk to folks, keep an eye on their dispositions. They let you know if they don't like you and it's smart to get on a Pla's good side before you ask a favor. I'm a, I'm a commoner. Cooking, cleaning. Okay. Never been good at reading all <laughs> little stuff. Just want to find some more rats. Okay, are we satisfied that there's no strider in this little village? That seems improbable. But I feel like I'm just walking in circles. I wish it wasn't night time, can I wait? Gotta find a bed. Oh crap. Wait, I can wait, right? Uh, if we wait a few hours, it should be brighter. There we go. Of course, it's super foggy. You know, I can hear that strider. Where the heck is the strider? Oh, there it is! Oh, thank God! Okay, this is how you travel fast. This is the seaport village. Tell me your destination if you're looking for a ride. All Mora, 15 gold. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. So that was fast and easy. Down the frog people, lizard people. The prey approaches. Welcome to Balmora. We're a house, Halaha town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we supposed to be looking for? Pisca Port to a man. I need to find a corner club called South Wall. I think I saw that option here. South Wall. South Wall is a working class corner club in Balmora. East of the river on the south end of Labor Street. River, I suppose. And we're on the western side of it. Now we're on the eastern side of it. See how that works. Uh oh. Why am I frozen? Oh no, I'm locked up. Oh great, game crashed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hard exit, looks like. 
Yeah, even with all those bugs, even with all those patches and mods, it still crashes occasionally, I suppose. Totally random. Okay, let me get this game running again, we'll continue. Theory. I'll let go of my mouse. It's always nice when you crash and you reload and you get to see that Bethesda. Bethesda. Yeah. That's what you want to be reminded of when you just crashed. Yeah, who made this game? Oh, that's right. I didn't lose anything, but it's okay. I kind of like breaking up barrels more than just looking at them. But... Okay. Yeah, I think I saw, a, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw a mod that would make animate these crates and chests and things. I just didn't bother to install it. Is there an easier way to grab that? Instead of having to do this every time? I don't want to take all because then you end up with all that garbage. Just the gold. Hundreds of hours of entertainment. Just not used to these instantaneous uh, loadings. Come on, then, say something or move. Okay, on. here we go. Yeah, this is the one. What? That old sugar tooth? I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask the owner. Okay, this isn't the owner. Ah, she's got some interesting stuff a club, throwing knife, arrow. Well, it wasn't that interesting. This must be the owner. This better be important. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, I could learn some medium armor, but let's see. Still not the owner. Sugar lips. <laughs> Has no time for you. Oh, sugar lips. Come on, where? You want something? Where's the owner of this place? Go ahead, I stranger. Pushed so hard. Gotta check every book just in case. Speak quickly. Only he stands there. Don't offer any services. I don't know where your business is. You may appear to be a pathetic old man. Where is this owner? Oh, uh, how do I say I'm sorry? <laughs> oh, jeez. Moral win three. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. There he is. Go ahead, stranger. Okay. Good day. I'm Bacala Klaskus. Okay, how do we give him this thing? Are we supposed to give him something? Yes. Old Chaos rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs. Then left at the top and down. What? Old Chaos rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs. Oh my god, I can never follow. 
that. Partner with him, maybe? Shoot, all my eggs. Okay, so don't go out that door. And go to the north of town. There's supposed to be a hill. Can I buy myself a lot of doing here? Supposed to report to a man named Caius Cassades. Okay. That looks like a. No, that's not a. Is that the hill? It's like north of town. Speak, traveler. in the hospitality school. Speak, traveler. It's a temple. Is that? I wonder if that's it, though. Temple. Ah, left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. It's a little bed and basket up the hill from the south wall. Go right up the stairs from the front room and left at the top of the stairs and down the middle of the street. Well, I think I went too far. I think this is the right place. Oh boy. There's someone watching. You touched my book. Hey. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this tale. Fighters Guild. Mages Guild. Trader. There's that music again. Pawn shop. Urn. Robin, son of Urn. Tiptoe to the Bahora. Okay, let's try this again. And I am terrible at this sort of thing. Okay, save it. Okay. Go right up the stairs from the front door. Then left at the top of the stairs. Down to the end of the street. the stairs, and left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. What are you talking about down here? Go ahead. That building? That's a tower. Doesn't seem right. Go ahead. Well, I am pretty sure this is not the place. It could be fun to explore anyway. Or not. Okay, 
guess that was a bed uh, and a basket. That's somebody's house. And I'm gonna, am I gonna have to pull up the old game Banshee? This is just sad. Nine to his house. These are just all people's houses. Oh, maybe it's on this side. There it is. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it. I'm not even going to put a shirt on for this guest. What are you talking about? So you say you say you say your name is Matthias, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. So it says here the emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Sure. <laughs> First off, take off your shirt. Good. Welcome to the services. Welcome to the service. Now you belong to the Blades. We're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest. I'll leave my personal stuff alone. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blade trainers. Now, or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Now we can pay for training there. Okay. Unarmored, speechcraft, and uh, well, I can't. Well, I could afford some of this, I suppose. But yeah, never mind. Orders. Well, they gave us two hundred gold. First thing, pilgrim. Oh, is, it, is this a John Wayne character? First thing, pilgrim. You're new, and you look at, and you look. Here's two hundred drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, or Imperial Cult, or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience. Or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfit, Hashat, Hasfat. And Tabalus, the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Neverine Secret Cult and the Sixth House Secret Cult. You have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. And get the information from Tabalus and report back to me. By the way, Asset is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Well, I can certainly look at them to see if I get a free uh, upgrade. Well, you said a few. I only see one book. Trapped. Now, oh, where did I put that? Okay, Balmor's Fighting Guild. Hopefully that is on the map here somewhere. Seems like I remember passing a Fighter's Guild. Where is that? Corner Club, Lucky Lockup. There it is. Guild of Fighters. So let's go straight across a bridge. Eat quickly, Outlander, or go away. You almost need a GPS in these games. Turn left, I think. Turn left at the bridge. Yeah, 
This feels right. Fuel the fires. Don't stand about. Get moving. Who am I supposed to talk to? Join the Fighters Guild? Quarters. You want to join the Fighters Guild? Sure. <laughs> You'd like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Sure. You are now Matthias, the associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and do just fine. Okay, orders. A very simple contract in an Oh yes! 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 A very simple contract in an F infestation of cave rats! Oh you know me, game! Yes, do it, cave rat. Go to Dre go to Dre Rain's Thales' house. Sierra Balmora along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment. Report back to me once you take care of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Cave rats. Well, I talked to everybody I'm supposed to talk to here. Take try my inexpensive iron spider dagger. I don't think I picked up anything to sell yet. I got 255 gold though. Iron boots. There's a shield. No. Looking for medium gear, huh? It's like everything is either heavy or light. Where's the medium stuff? Not a lot of pretty ladies. So what's this regarding? Trains. All these folks trained you to do various things. Just want to make sure I've got everything I need to do. Now I, I haven't talked to this ass hat yet. Is that him? No. There he is. Good day, Matthias. So you're with Chaos. And Chaos wants information? Of course. There's this for that involved. I require a favor. There are Dwimmer ruins nearby called... I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Rubik's Cube. Bring me back the Rubik's Cube and I'll tell you what you want to know. Yes, I'll tell you what you want. Go ahead, stranger. Go ahead, stranger. Said so he's also got some books here. Let me just save it to make sure. You know, the first time I played this, I probably what looked very that? carefully at all the. At all the text. That door was trapped. Yeah. <laughs> I could have died. And... All right. You know what I want to do. You know what I want to do. And how do you pick a lock? Oh, there's, I got a lock pick. Yeah, look, lock pick. That didn't work. I to equip it. Lock pick failed. Is there, it's only a level five. Is that considered tough? You know what my kind of dice I'm rolling here. All right, got it that time. Some pants and egg. Uh, stupid hole. La 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 la. Used it up. Time to switch it to the probe. Oh, I guess a probe doesn't 
the hell's a probe for? Maybe I shouldn't ask that question so loudly. Oh no, keep the keep your pants on. Oh, I hate that system. Maybe there's a mod that has just a regular paper doll. That's what I like. Okay, you know where we're going, guys. I don't give a damn. What's this about? Get me out of here, man. I want to find those rats. That'd probably be a decent stopping point, because I could just play like every... I could be playing for the for like a two weeks, you know? Got to stop. Speak up. Okay. Uh, let's check the journal. Uh, some rats. Her house is here in Belmore on the east side of town near the river. So we're looking for... Dre Rain... Thalus on the east side of the river. So again, we're on the western I side right now. There, but make it quick. <sighs> Eastern side. Speak quickly, Let's Outlander, or go away. Let's see. Have you found it already, perhaps? Ray Rain's house. Mantos. There it is. Oh, we're closer than I thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ray Rain's house. Double save. There's someone watching me. I can tell. You're the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? <laughs> oh, ma'am, if you only knew who you is standing here right in front of you. Yeah, I'll take care of the cave rats. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Mike Lindell? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here. The other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of those beasts. <laughs> I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Where are your rats, lady? Oh, oh. too quick. Oh, there's the pillows. <laughs> oh, these are the finest pillows. Most comfortable pillows you'll ever own. I see some books. Stupid. Ah, nice. Your long blade skill increased to 16. Save. Oh, I wish I could do more to that rat. Okay, now where would she say? No, I don't have a lot of patience for questions. I no storage room. Where's her storage room? There it is. Oh, there you. Die, ah, yes. Uh, oh. Oh. Something, something happened. Almost got it. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Yes, that's how you do it. Ah. Calm down, my stealing all this garbage. Bills, no thanks. Oh, what the heck? Just taking everything. <laughs> Baskets of pillows. What is this lady's deal with pillows? Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, look, those rats almost killed me, too. They did. Got me down about half health here. 
Let's see, how do I use that stupid magic? Uh, what's it called? Mode? No. Maris gift. Okay. What? I've already... Oh well. Okay, let's turn that quest in. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Glad to see you again. I took care of the rats. Hundred gold. All right. Quest. I need to go back to the fighter skill now, right? You played this game long enough, eventually you learn your way around town. Yeah, you won't have to consult your map every few seconds. Go ahead. Okay. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? Hmm, this is before she took an arrow to the knee. I think this was the one, right? Wait, is this the person that gave me the quest? Hmm. Hmm. Edis Fire Eye. So oh, what's that's this not the person. So you killed the rats? Not bad for use. They know me. You ready for more orders? Oh yeah. The local egg mine has problems with egg poachers, and you're going to and you're going to Oh I am! Yes, egg poachers. May sound silly, but those quama eggs are among the few things worth exporting for this nasty little province. Dram Barrow, the owner of Skulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves. Alright, so Head on. I think we get the idea. Played a, played a few quests. Just barely scratching the surface of this game. My goodness. You know, again, this is a game you could easily sink just hundreds and hundreds of hours into. And that's not even including any of the extra content, the expansions, and all the user generated stuff, all the mods. It's probably one of the best games you can get, really. Just to be honest. You know, as far as bang for your buck is concerned. Especially <laughs> if you can get it for free, but <laughs> you know, 15 bucks, that's not too bad. Let's hear it. I think these, uh, I, don't, I actually don't remember what it looked like originally, but, you know, with these, uh, modules I installed, it looks good. You know, I think somebody just casually walking by and looking at this might think I'm playing Skyrim or Oblivion. Not even realize I'm playing, uh, a game that came out in 2002. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look like a game that came Come out yesterday. On, Ahead. It doesn't look bad, and why you you know people get so hung up on graphics? Why can I only jump like every so often? There's still some things I haven't worked out about this game. I guess you can only jump every so often. Just every now and then I'll I'll jump. Maybe you're reserves. I'm trying to think, is there any aspect of this game I haven't really gotten into? I mean, it would take... Well, I haven't even hit the next level yet. Progress towards next level. Oh, see? Yeah, I need to get eight more things up. I really haven't done very much. Lock. Uh, well, should we try to get to level two? Maybe that would be a better stopping point. 
I'll tell you what, let's do another quest for her. Report back to the survival. Othan and Danny Lavalis form egg miners and local from the Skulk Egg Mine. Uh, should probably get some directions. Oh, this guy probably would have bought my skooma. What do you think these mines are? Need to get some directions. Well, she told me, but I I'm listening. Wasn't listening. Any time now. I think she's at the top of the stairs. Nope. One more st there. Egg poachers. Skulk egg mine. The mine is a short distance southwest of Balmora. And the bluffs west of the old river. Old Eye River. The old suspension bridge across the Odai is just southeast of the mine interest. Follow the river south of Balmora until you see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, are you? Yeah, let's do that yes. quest and see where that puts us. Gosh, this game is sucking me in! I should have run faster. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? This river. There's the river. Alright. So there was a suspension bridge. This isn't the bridge you're talking about, is it? No, a suspension bridge. It's one that hangs down, right? Got some ropes. I bet it's further down. Growls and everything. You know, usually when you're playing a game like this, right about now is when you you start to realize you got a good good game on your hands because you look you got things you're looking forward to. You got you're making plans. Like when I get this and when I get that, here's what I'm gonna do. And with this game, you're always like. And I've still only explored like 1% of the game. Still? I don't know what that thing is, but it's gonna die. Oh, I get lost. There's the river. There's the suspension bridge. I'm just telling you, when I played this game back in the day, it just, it's kind of, how do you describe it? Scratched a niche you didn't know you had? <laughs> and you always try to recapture that magic, but there's just no other game that really strikes the same chord. You know, it's, it comes close, or it's, it's just as good, but slightly different, but just not not quite the same. Alright, I think we're at the right bridge. Uh, follow her until I see the bridge. Is it under that? See any cave entrances? Hmm. 
this cave I don't know what eggs have to do with any of this oh boy <sighs> just southwest. okay this says this bridge the old suspension bridge is just southeast. Okay. Ah, I hate that. Close! Okay, so that's. If it's southeast, that means. It's going to be over here somewhere. Heather. Now wait a minute. It's southeast. No, I think it's on the other side, right? I go that way. There it is. <gasps> There's some dudes. Let's see, are they gonna talk or are they gonna attack? How do I know? You're not up to something devious. No, you can be hiding anywhere in the mine. Okay. Back. What's this? Miner's pick? Do you actually mine? I wonder if you could mine. I really can't help you, stranger. Well, let's go on in and see if we can find these folks. Hopefully they'll just attack. There's some eggs. Yes, I'm here to kill you for poaching. What is poaching? What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Is that thing attacking me? Oh. What's attacking me? Oh, this thing is like the little Wrath of Khan things. That thing that went and shook off Seer that time? I remember that. I never forget. Oh! Big guys don't attack, just the little ones. go so far as to say this game too has some of the best caves. These level designs, I mean, it really makes you feel like you're in an actual cave. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Is that... Wait, is that thing attacking me? Trying hard, I don't want to hit that mama. 
<laughs> Where are these people? Queen's Lair? Uh, I think I found him. Man, they're trying really hard to make me accidentally fight that big one. Come on. Killed two of them. That's crappy treasure. Let's see, is that all of them? Would it up, would, surely it would tell me that the Sabella, Othan, and Balas. Was that them I just killed? Alright, so I think it would have give me a little little update on my journal. That's gonna supposed to take something from him. Uh, maybe it just remembers. Athletics gonna just increased. Good for you, athletic skill. You get that just from running everywhere. I don't know what it was trying to do, but it ain't doing it anymore. I need to just kill a bunch of stuff and get Oh, far though? Paralyze me? Oh, that's nasty. These guys are nastier than I thought. Getting better with my axe though. Yeah, that's a little rail. Yeah, is this a bad guy? To walk a fine line, don't you? Okay. Whatever trouble Miners. Unarmed workers. There's something not right about you. Everywhere. Okay, let's get out of here. Go turn this in. And I think that'll be a good stopping point. Starting to get into the groove of the game. Still a few things I'd like to do. I'd like to figure out the alchemy system. A little bit more, you know. I haven't really gotten into spell casting at all. It's one of the cooler aspects of the game, as I recall, you can construct your own spells. It's a lot of fun. Of course, you have to be able to get out of a cave. Oh my god, am I just going in circles here? What am I 
Oh, I guess I gotta go around this loop. Okay. Three dimensional level, two dimensional map. Everybody's a critic. I'm going. Okay, somewhere over here. Check the map again. Yeah, it should be this way. Pretty good looking models. It was a lot of fun making this game. I wonder at what point they were playing it amongst themselves, and uh, they ever get to that point where they're like, "Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be big. This is the game that's gonna put us on the map." Well, they probably thought. You know, if you like the uh, dagger fall, you're gonna love this. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die just with some stupid random thing I'm stuck. Man, those guys are nasty. Scribs? Yikes. Hey, there's something. What do you think that is? Uh, ancestral tomb. <laughs> Probably don't want to go in there yet. Just turn in my quest. Somehow I got away from the river. you improve your alchemy if it's not just by eating things. Let me just do a quick little check here. Uh, where's alchemy? Uh, it's 7 out of 100, right? Let's just try eating something. That raised it. Okay, that's the trick to that. You just keep eating. Oh, it's only going up to 13. Wait a minute, I thought it was going up. Now it's not. Well, I guess sometimes it goes up, sometimes it doesn't. Oh boy, okay. 27. Twenty-seven. Thirty-three. Yeah, just it's just totally random. Got twelve of these eggs, I guess. I wonder if it gives you more if you haven't eaten it before. Wow, this is gonna take forever. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not going to waste everybody's time. But that's, I guess, one way to raise up your alchemy score. Probably better ways to do it. snail space. I think something I ate didn't agree with me. Okay. I'm going to turn this in and then we'll do a wrap up. 
Assuming I can pull myself away this time. I still don't think I'm anywhere going to be close to the next level. I'm still on level one. I mean, just can you believe it? Not that you want to rush things. Yeah, there's no point in rushing. I suppose I have a What is it? You got both of them. Here's your payment, a hundred septums. And we got some extra portions. Take these. We have a contract from the Cobra Mining Company to kill four agents. So I think, if I recall correctly, these quests we're doing now are. So what do you want? I don't know if these are the procedurally generated ones. I think some of the quests are procedurally generated. And some are handmade. I'm not sure which is which. I'm pretty sure though these are the procedural ones that you got the main quest that we were on. Okay, let's wrap this up here. I mean, in some sense there's no real point in me saying, yes, Morrowind's a great game. I mean everybody knows that. <laughs> it's a, one of the great classics. It's a very different kind of experience than other uh, great games from this era. I mean, Neverwinter Nights, for example. To me, yeah, they're both computer role-playing games, sure, but they feel just entirely different. Uh, even though they strike a lot of the same chords, you know, a lot of the, there's, there's a lot of similarities. But uh, I think with this game, if you like this game, it's going to be because you like exploring, checking out all these game worlds. You know, there's so many skills. It doesn't have feats, I guess, like those uh, Neverwinter Nights games has. Uh, but, you know, the Neverwinter Nights game doesn't really have a true party either, I would argue. Yeah, you can do the henchmen or the minions, whatever they call them. Uh, so that's not really a key difference. Uh, I just remember playing this and, and trying to get these. I think when you level up, you can raise one of these stats. And then you're raising uh, the skills as you play with the as you use it system. And I remember just really liking that. You know, it's fun when you get a, you land a blow in a battle, and you're happy that oh yes, I hit him. <laughs> but also when that thing pops up, it's like yes, your skill has increased. Uh, that's like a double jolt. You know, it's it's really good. It makes you feel really good about playing the game. Uh, it makes it feel less grindy to me because you do. There's so many indications going all the time making improvements nothing is very few things just feel like wasted time uh, you know i guess some people do just sit around casting a spell over and over and over again try to raise it up that way it's kind of, kind of lame if you used to play that way um what else might i say about this game i mean the music is great i think with these add-ons it really looks great uh there's a few little things that Kind of were bothering me like i don't I'm not i'm not in love with this inventory system <laughs> but you know my guess is there's probably mods out there that could take care of this for me and make it more like the games uh, i've you know the interfaces i prefer but all in all i just i think it's a uh, you know if you haven't ever played morrowind i think you should definitely play it you have a lot of fun with it it's it's very uh you know, just add, even removing the nostalgia factor just as a game, I think it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, especially if you like Skyrim a lot. And maybe you got kind of bored with Skyrim. You come play this, I think you'd uh, uh, enjoy it. Uh, or, you know, even if you've played Morrowind like I did when it came out, but it's been like, you know, <laughs> God, was it 20? No, it's how many years? I don't even know what year. Has it been 20 years? Is that possible? No. Alexa, what is 2022? <laughs> mine is, I, oh, never I can't believe how long it's been, man. I just, my, my mind is reeling. Uh, no, I'm not even trusting my math. You know, it just doesn't feel like that long. But yeah, my goodness. Uh, this is one of the great pivotal masterpiece CRPGs. Uh, not the kind of game I normally play, you know, if you just ask me what's my favorite style, I typically like the you know, games where you have a party and it's turn-based and all that good stuff, but uh, 
this game, I also like this game a lot. You know, it's very different than that. But I think, you know, for what it is, for this style of game, it's really excellent. And this, you know, I could just as happily spend, uh, you know, hundreds of hours, <laughs> you know, playing this uh, as I would uh, Neverwinter Nights or, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know uh, if I'd say it's, I think Baldur's Gate games like that are a little bit too too much of an apples and oranges uh, situation, like the Icewind Dells and games of that sort. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't know what else I could say. You know, if you haven't uh, been convinced by now, you should try this. I don't know what what will. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this game. Uh, did you play it back in the day, or maybe you're new to it? You know, I'd love to read about what you think. If you have tips, suggestions, if there's certain add-ons or modules, user-generated content you think are essential uh, that I didn't cover, you know, didn't mention at least, uh, that aren't on that I Heart Vanilla list, <laughs> uh, then sound off. Love to hear your uh, your suggestions on that too. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm probably gonna end up playing this game some more, frankly. <laughs> uh, but again, I'll see you soon. That's all for this episode. <laughs> Chopping and swinging and thrusting on my. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, should be back soon. Let me know if, you, if there's a game you want to see on the show. If you know somebody that would think would be a great guest and you happen to be in touch with, that you know personally, that always helps. Uh, do let me know. Be happy to uh, uh, consider that. Have them on the show and cover those games. We'll get to them all eventually, folks. If and only if you are as awesome as Jeff and David and all of the other Patreons, or as I like to call them, the Retrons, who support this show, who make it possible. It's not just me doing this, folks. It's all of the people who take the time, a few minutes, to go to that Patreon site, say, hey, I think Matt, I like Matt, I like his show, I think he's worth a buck. <laughs> Keep this thing going. He's a crazy guy. I never know what he's going to do next, you know. Uh, here, yeah, have, have my dollar. Hey, that's all I'm asking, and I really deeply and eternally <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Thank you to the Patreons, the patrons, retrons. Could not and would not do this show without you. Now, if you are one of those people, one of those thousands and thousands of people who watch the show, love the show, like the show, uh, want to see more of the show, get disappointed when there's not a new show in their queue, but for whatever reason have not contributed, come on. <laughs> you like the show better if you support it. You get to be part of this. You know, it's really awesome. Plus, you get on that awesome Discord channel and have all kinds of, you're going to meet some great people that are like-minded people that you're going to be happy to hang out with. So, you know, please do that. Only a few minutes, only a buck. You know, also, uh, also appreciate folks who, uh, folks, I also <laughs> appreciate all the folks who uh, retweet things and post it on Facebook, post it here and there, maybe on other Discord channels and uh, Facebook groups and all that stuff. I do notice those things, and I appreciate that too. So, basically, I just want to thank you and everyone who has contributed and supported this show in any way. I appreciate it, and thank you. All right, uh, what about that news from the Met Cave? Well, a bit of sad news to start off with here. Miko wrote in about the legendary fanti, uh, fanti, fantasy artist, Ken Kelly. A really fabulous artist. Uh, you probably recognize a lot of these pieces if you're into Conan, Cole, Man of War, lots of uh, fantasy art. Uh, you know, it's kind of a special genre that's near and dear to my heart, probably yours too. Um, anyway, he passed away on June 3rd at the age of 76. This is Ken Kelly. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, not Miko, <laughs> uh, thankfully. Uh, anyway, if you uh, like Ken Kelly's artwork, you know, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you know, what, what are your favorite pieces? Maybe there's some lesser known works that you'd like to share. Uh, just let me know. You know, it's great. I always think I kind of have mixed feelings when somebody like this passes away. I mean, on the one hand, it's sad. But on the other hand, I'm kind of happy for them. I'm kind of grateful that they've, uh, you know, done all this great stuff and they're, they've gotten to sh uh, share all this with the world and they're, they're celebrated and rightfully venerated and respected, you know, so it's kind of a, a good thing, but I'm also kind of, uh, 
you know, appreciative and grateful and I'm just happy that they shared their stuff because it's awesome. Now also, Bob Clardy, remember him? Uh, Odyssey, the complete app venture guy. Yeah, he wrote in about this. Apparently he got, he's gotten stung, like a lot of people, by counterfeit retro gaming, retro games and collectibles. A lot of the old Ultima stuff floating around this big PC game collector's group is fake. Guy by the name of, or at least allegedly fake. Maybe I should put it that way. I don't really know. I haven't purchased anything from this person, thankfully. Maybe I won't even say the name of the person, just in case. Who knows these days? People are so litigious. Uh, but I'll post a link here. It's actually on Cracked.com. I was kind of surprised that it was on that site. But anyway, this collective accuses now ex-member of using his reputation inside the community to make upwards of $100,000 over the course of his tenure as a, quote, reseller of quality rare titles. You know, I think this is kind of a shame. This guy's, uh, you know, and again, I don't know the, any of this stuff. I'm just for secondhand information, obviously. But judging by the quality of the frauds or the fakes, what's the word for that, replicas? Yeah, there's some word I'm missing in <laughs> my vocabulary. Uh, but anyway, it's like really well done in the sense of being very accurate looking and realistic copy it's kind of a shame this person wasn't just straight up about it because i would be willing to pay this guy frankly not for a fake or counterfeit but you know if he's like look i can give you uh this this ultima acalabeth ultima you know what i mean if i, I can give you this acalabeth replica <laughs> uh, that looks very you know realistic and you put this in your collection since you obviously can't afford the real deal you know this is kind of a fast simile of it you know i think that alone you know i don't necessarily i think that would be worth some some money, right? Uh, but sadly, this person was apparently uh, dishonest, trying to pass off these uh, really well done copies, unfortunately, trying to pass those off as the real thing and charging people accordingly. And of course, that is that is wrong. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, you know, what are your thoughts? Do you know this person? Have you bought stuff from him? You know, you might want to sound off on the uh, YouTube comments or maybe on that Discord channel. Let me know. And then finally, uh, Zach Webster of RPG Gamer, RPGGamer.com, writes in a uh, wrote about this new Alcat game coming out. It's a War Thousand or War, War I cannot talk today. Warhammer Forty Thousand. So you need to get those different flavors of Warhammer. This is the science fiction futuristic one. It is uh, called Warhammer Forty Thousand Rogue Trader, Trader, not Trader. <laughs> The game will be the first traditional RPG set in the Warhammer 40k universe based on the tabletop role-playing game. So it puts you in the role of a rogue trader, latest line. It kind of sounds like Elite to me in a lot of ways. Or, uh, oh God, uh, Privateer, if you remember that one. Latest in a line of privateers looking to build their own mercantile empire in the fringes of space. You get to lead a ship of personnel alongside party members and as they explore the... Coronas expanse, making decisions that will have ripple effects throughout the universe. Unlike Alcat's previous Pathfinder games, Rogue Trader will only have turn-based combat. That's a very wise decision. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. You know, I think it might fill a niche. You know, I'm trying to think if there's been games that kind of fit that this profile, this sort of space sim RPG, you know, where you can do all this stuff with the, the turn-based combat. You know, I think it has... Just in my mind, I don't know, uh, since the games I mentioned, you know, that's, I'd have to ponder on that for a while. Uh, but anyway, I know these guys do top quality work, so I'm really excited about this. It could be something uh, really, really good. You know, hopefully it'll be as good as uh, their Pathfinder games. All right, let's wrap it up with a quote. And I was looking for quotes about storytelling and narratives and, you know, things of that ilk. I came across this one by Brandon Sanderson, fantasy and science fiction writer. And I, I really like this quote. I like the thought here. Tell me what you think about it. It goes something like this. The purpose of a storyteller is not to tell you how to think, but to give you questions to think upon. So I'll ponder on that, and I'll see you guys next time.
You'll put down your rock and I'll put down my sword and we'll try and kill each other like civilized people. 